played more than 300 games and four premierships for East Perth and Geelong. Farmer's kick is taken by former fellow West Australian Watts in one of the most spectacular marks of the day. But it would be 40 years after hanging up his boots before he'd be inducted into the WA Football Hall of Fame. I don't know why it took him so long. <laughs> Born John Albert Watts, he tweaked his name to John K. Watts for his second career as a broadcaster and entertainer. The K stood for Noel. Teaming up with Barry Martin as the dynamic duo, they turned radio in Perth on its head. One April Fool's Day when the Royal Yacht Britannia sailed into Fremantle, they told their audience the Queen was so pleased she was offering the people a Swan River cruise. First 2,000 people there get the quick trip. Well, there were busloads of people and whatever, and well, we were in a lot of trouble over that. So at nine o'clock, we just uh, racked off to Albany. Another radio star of the day, Gary Carvolth, remembers a visit by singer Neil Diamond when they gave away his records as prizes but forgot to get them signed. And he said, yeah, I've been thinking about that. And he came out and he picked up a pen and he went, chh, 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 chh. signed them all. <laughs> as Neil Diamond, now I'm giving away a big secret here. He wrote jokes for Bob Hope, composed the club's songs for East Perth, Swan Districts and Geelong and was successful in business. J.K. Watts was diagnosed with bone cancer five years ago. And I asked him, I said, D -d 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 I mean, how long have I gone? And he looked at his way, 10, 9, 8, 7. <laughs> Today, family gathered to plan how to commemorate a man who lived a very public life. He treated them with respect because uh, he was a public figure and he knew that how much everybody just loved him and he loved everybody else as well. John K. Watts was 80. Jeff Parry, 7 News. A man who